What's up guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and More, and today we're gonna compare these two knives. Let's go. All right guys, in today's comparison, we have two great little knives, two great affordable knives that we're gonna pit against each other, and at the very end, I'll tell you which of these two I like more. Now, the first knife that we have is the Kershaw Cryo. This is a great little knife that I bought a long time ago, and like I said, we're gonna talk about it a little bit today and compare it to the Civivi Elementum, which is another great little knife that I bought, and I've been very, very happy with it. Now, like I said before, both of these knives are great little knives. You can't really go wrong with either, but we're gonna nitpick a little bit today, compare them in several different categories, and then like I told you, at the very end, I'll tell you which of these two is my favorite. If I could only choose one, which would it be? I'll let you know at the very end of this video. All right, so to start us off, let's compare the blade steel between these two knives. So with the Kershaw Cryo, which is a great little knife, the blade steel that you get is 8CR13MOV, which is a Chinese steel, and it's okay. It's a knife steel that you will commonly find on Chinese-made knives. And like I said, it's okay. It's not the hardest steel. It's a little bit soft, but but with Kershaw knives, they've kind of figured out the perfect heat treating system for this type of steel. And I think that these Kershaw blades, the cryo included, do a really great job at, at holding their edges. So yeah, the blade steel that you get is kind of just okay in my opinion, but it gets an extra boost because of Kershaw's heat treating. And this knife has done a great job over the years for me. I've had it for many years. It's a great cutter. So yeah, I think the blade steel that you get with the cryo is, is good. Now with the Civivi Elementum, you're getting D2 steel. And D2, D2 is a tool steel, and it's a great steel for affordable knives. It does a great job at holding its edge and taking a fine edge, and I really, really like it. I think D2 is awesome. And yeah, when you have an affordable knife and I see that it has D2 steel, I start to get, <laughs> I start to get a little excited, so. <laughs> but I'm weird, so, so that's just me. Now, out of these two, which one has the better steel? Which one's gonna win in this category? I'm gonna pick the Civivi because it has D2. Again, the steel that you get with a cryo is not bad, and it's actually pretty good with their heat treating, but I just like the D2 a little bit better, so I'm gonna give the win to the Elementum in this category. Next, we're gonna talk about the blade shapes. So with the cryo, you get a drop point blade, and I think it looks great. It looks really cool. Maybe a little bit of a false edge at the top there. You do have some jimping on the back here. But yeah, this is a great blade shape. It cuts really well, never had any issues with it. It's always done a great job at cutting and slicing. And like I said, I think it looks awesome. It looks great. Now with the Civivi Elementum, you're also getting, uh, you're also getting a, a drop point blade. To me, it's very elegant and it's simple, but it's not like a plain Jane knife, especially when you're holding this knife. It's it's kind of sleek, it's kind of elegant, and it's a great performer. It cuts really well, slices really, really well. Definitely nothing to complain about. It also has some jimping up here for your thumb. And yeah, I think this is also a really, really great blade shape. So both of these knives have um, drop point blades, but they're obviously kind of a different style. They're both great cutters, great slicers, so that's not an issue for either one. And it really will come down to which one looks better to your eye. For me, it's kind of tough, um, but I think I'm gonna give the edge in terms of blade looks to the cryo. I really love the way this drop point looks. It just looks cool. This one looks cool too, but it's just it's just subjective, just for fun. But yeah, I'm gonna give the win in this category just based on the blade looks to the cryo. But again, both of these blades perform very well at cutting and slicing. No issues with either one. All right, now let's compare the scales. So with the Kershaw Cryo, you're getting a smooth uh, stainless steel handle, and I think it's great. It's a very comfortable handle to hold. No hot spots, gives you a great grip on the knife. It's ergonomic, shapes nicely in your, in my hand at least. Again, you got that jimping up there, some texturing down here as well. No texture on the sides, but I've never actually found that to be an issue. Even though it is smooth, you still get a great grip on this knife. 
and it's never slipped on me or anything like that. So, so it's been really good, even though it doesn't really have texturing. Now, another important feature of this handle is that it's thin. I love how thin this handle is, and that makes this knife carry very, very comfortably in your pocket. This knife really disappears. You don't notice it as you're carrying it around, and, and that slim handle is is a major part of that. So yeah, overall, I think the handle on the Kershaw Cryo is great. It's very comfortable, and at the same time, it's slim, which makes the knife carry very, very well. Now, all that being said, the handle that you get on the Elementum is also really, really good. Now, the scales that you get here are um, G10, and they feel awesome. They have a little bit of texturing on them. They're grippy. They give you a good grip on the knife when you're holding it, and when the knife's in hand, Again, it feels great. This knife is awesome. There's no hot spots, nothing like that. Everything feels great. And even though we've got a completely different material, again, we've got the G10 here and the stainless steel here, the great thing about the Civivi is that it's also super slim. And again, that makes this knife very, very comfortable to carry around in your pocket all day. It disappears. And that's something that I really like because it just makes it easier to carry, more fun to carry for me. Now, out of these two, which do I think has the better handle, scales, grip? Well, they're both very good, but if I'm choosing one, I'm gonna pick the Civivi Elementum. I love how thin both of them are. I think the only thing that really separates the two is I like the feel of the G10 in my hand better than the stainless steel. And that G10 makes this a little bit lighter knife as well. The stainless steel makes the Kershaw a little heavier. And I think it balances this knife and makes it a little bit more lightweight, which makes it just a little bit more comfortable to carry around in your pocket. So both great handles, both super slim, easy to carry and comfortable, but the win here is gonna go to the Elementum. All right, so next let's compare the locking mechanisms on these two knives. So first of all, the Cryo. You can see right here that this knife has a frame lock, and that's when they use the frame as you can see, to lock out the, the blade when it's deployed. So this part of the frame right here is kind of flexible, and then you simply push to the side and close the blade. And when you're pushing to the side, this little disc right here stops it from going too far. So you just close the blade like that, and then to deploy the blade on the cryo, you can use the thumb studs if you want, but you also have a flipper right here and the flipper is smooth, no texturing, but this is an assisted opener, so it snaps right out. And that makes it a little stiffer when you're closing right here. It's just a little bit more tension. But yeah, the flipper on this knife is perfect, super easy, snaps out, super fun. You've got great deployment on the cryo. Now in terms of blade wiggle, there's none. When the blade's closed, the alignment, looks pretty good but yeah this uh this knife deploys really well the assisted opening just makes it pop out super positive definitely a great system on the kershaw cryo now with the civivi elementum this one is similar but it's a liner lock so you've got the liner inside to close the blade you just closes very easily and then no thumb studs on the Elementum, but you do have a flipper and it has a little bit of soft texturing at the top. And then to deploy, you just press it and it's super smooth. This knife is not an assisted opener like the Kershaw Cryo, but the deployment of the blade is very, very smooth. I mean, it's just buttery smooth. It's awesome. I really love the deployment on this blade. It's super fun, super easy. Again, it's not an assisted blade, so when you close it, you don't have that resistance. It's it's easier to close the blade on, on this one than it is the cryo. But yeah, it's just as easy to deploy. And it just swings open so smoothly and it feels great. I, <laughs> I love the way Civivi knives deploy and this one lives up to the rest of them that I've handled. Now let's check wiggle. No wiggle. Check the alignment. Pretty centered. Oh yeah, super smooth deployment, super fun. Definitely a great system on the Civivi. Now out of the two, which one do I like better? I like 
the Civivi better. Even though this one is great, and I love the assisted opening, it snaps right out, it's very smooth, great positive system. Again, the Civivi just deploys buttery smooth. That's the best way I can describe it to you. It just feels awesome. And yeah, I just think it's the smoother and nicer system of the two. Even though this one is very, very good still, the win in this category goes to the Elementum. All right, now let's talk about clip design. All right, so with the Kershaw, you do have a deep carry clip, which is nice to see. I always like a deep carry clip. I just feel like they carry a little bit more comfortably. And as it comes to you, it sets you up for tip down carry, but you've got two screws right there and you can easily swap it to tip up carry if that's what you wanna do. Can you swap it to the other side? Yeah, you can. You can swap it to the top of the other side or the bottom of the other side as well. So you've got a lot of options. You've got four different options that you can easily use for your clip and you can set this thing up to carry exactly how you want to. So great job on the clip design from Kershaw. I think it's excellent. Now as for the Civivi, you also have a deep carry clip and this one has a couple of cutouts which make it look cool, but you're set up for tip up carry only. There's no way to put the clip on this side to set you up for tip down if that's what you want. And there's no way to flip it to the other side either. So you're kind of stuck with the one clip position on the Elementum, which for me is fine. I don't have any problem with it at all, just as a regular right-handed guy. But yeah, definitely not as modular as the system that you get on the, on the Kershaw Cryo. Now I do want to show you what both these knives look like when they're in the pocket, so let's do that now. All right, so as you can see, they both have deep carry clips, so they, they virtually disappear in your pocket. And like I told you before, both these knives are very thin knives, so they're honestly both really great EDC blades. They both disappear in your pocket, and they're both very easy to carry. I think the clip looks a little bit cooler, a little bit more designed on the Civivi, but again, with the Kershaw, you've got four different positions that you can carry from. So you've got a lot of modularity. So let's take these out and then I'll tell you which one I think has the better clip design. All right, so both these knives have deep carry clips, which is a good thing in my opinion. Both of them carry very, very well in your pocket, but in terms of clip, I'm gonna give the win to the Kershaw Cryo because you have four different positions that you can easily switch the carry clip to and with the Elementum, even though I have no problems with it right there, there are no other positions that you can easily swap the clip to. That being said, both of these knives are very easy and very comfortable in your pocket, and I personally don't have a problem with either clip. All right, now I wanna give you a look at the size comparison, just side by side. You can see that the Elementum is probably a little, just a tiny bit larger than the Kershaw Cryo. Not a big difference either way. Not enough to really make a difference in terms of carry or performance for either knife in my opinion. I don't have a scale, but I can tell you that the Kershaw Cryo is a heavier knife than the Elementum. And that's because you got the stainless steel scales as opposed to the G10. But yeah, they're similarly sized. And like I told you guys before, both of these knives are great EDC blades. They both carry in your pocket very, very comfortably. All right, and that brings us to the end of this comparison. And I told you guys that I would pick a winner. So out of these two knives, which do I prefer? If I could only pick one, if I could only keep one, which one am I gonna go with? Well, I'm gonna pick the Civivi Elementum. As I've said in some other videos, I do have a review on this knife and I've compared it to some other knives as well. I really fell in love with this knife when I, when I first got it. I did not initially think I would like this knife as much as I do. <laughs> um, I bought it to review it for this channel because I did think it was cool. But when I finally got it, like I said, I just fell in love with it. This knife is very well balanced, it's very lightweight, it's very elegant, and you can feel all that when you when you have it in hand. You don't feel all that when you're just looking at it online, and you probably don't feel it right now just watching me on the camera. But I can tell you, when you have this knife in hand, it just feels great. Now I did tell you that it deploys buttery smooth. Ugh, love the deployment on this knife. 
but the whole fit and finish of the knife just feels awesome so yeah i really love this knife i've been i've been geeking out over it ever since i bought it <laughs> and out of these two knives if i could only have one this is the one i'm going with now that is not to say that the Kershaw Cryo is a bad knife at all. This is an awesome knife. I've had this knife for years. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it performs. I love the way it carries. It's a very slim knife. Yeah, nothing wrong with the Kershaw Cryo. Awesome blade. And I'm very, very happy that I bought this knife. But again, if I have to pick a winner, if I have to pick one that I like more, it's gonna be the Elementum. I'm loving this knife right now. I think it's super cool. And yeah, it's my pick for the win. Now let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now like I said, both of these knives are great knives. You can't go wrong with either one. If you're interested in either, I will leave links in the description below for both of these knives. Those are affiliate links and they do help out the channel, so thank you for that. But yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.